If you're watching this video, you're probably participating in my workshop on 21st century texts and tools. I'm going to quickly skim you through the Prezi that you may have already read through to explain the activity that you can choose to either just discuss or um, or participate in and create an example on this Prezi. So this video is to help explain my purpose and give you some detailed instructions about what you're doing. So there's that introduction. Uh, I did share on the Prezi these three claims from the Psycholinguistics of Literacy in a Flat World by Alice Horning. I'm going to skim through them quickly. The most important piece is this contention that texts and tools are evolving and that our use of language is evolving. And so we're going to think about what we know about evolution to anchor a discussion about texts and tools today. So quickly skimming through these claims, you can read them on your own. Here are some examples I pulled off the internet and just to kind of get you thinking about how are digital tools and texts evolving? How can we think about how technology is changing and evolutionary processes? So this example is meant to show you how you might discuss some tools you're familiar with. Um, I created a quick evolutionary chain about uh, the evolution of the slide presentation. And you know, you can totally disagree with my example. You can expand on my example. Feel free to log in and edit my example. Or think about other examples of your own, discuss them, or put them on this Prezi. And then finally, I want you to consider this graphic. So I recently read a Twitter discussion about this graphic, which was created by Samantha Penny and published on the University of Southern Indiana's website. In the Twitter feed I was reading, two educators were criticizing this arrangement of tech tools. And they said a couple things. They said that it, it seemed you know, disappointing to them based on their familiarity with these tools. And then also that one of the criticisms they made was that this classification presumed how the user would use these tools when in fact these tools are more flexible than they might be getting credit for on this graphic. So when I saw that discussion, I went back to Alice Horning's article and thought about how are evolutionary chains a better way to think about text tools and classifying them than maybe this. So the point here isn't, isn't to uh, beat up this graphic, but think about the tools on this graphic or any web tools we're familiar with, how are they evidence of texts evolving? So again, I want to invite you to create your own. You can use that link to edit. And feel free to edit mine or create your own. Also feel free to not edit this Prezi and just discuss this, co this concept. Go back to the picture of the tools in the graphic and think about that maybe with a in pairs or in groups.